All right, Ed, we're going to take a look through this 97 Murata. Um, I mean, right off the bat, I'll be honest with you, there's a tear in the couch right there, just so you can see that. Uh, I'm going to zoom out a little bit here so you can see a little more. Um, this is our super awesome seal, only 9777 um, so that you can save a good amount of money here. It uh, only has 58,000 miles on it. Um, there's another little tear here in this seat, but overall, you know, the integrity of the seat is still good. Um, let you see around here a little bit. They have some LED lights hanging there that they had done. Um, the dashboard is in pretty good condition in here. Has the TV here in the dashboard. I really like this wood look here. Um, passenger seat is in good condition. Uh, you know, the carpet is pretty good considering how old this is. Your speakers up there and some storage. Take a look. Um, inside the storage, it is insulated, which is super awesome. Um, you know, when you're driving, things don't clatter as much. And uh, they stay in there pretty well. Uh, you have this seat here, like a little lounger. You can tuck the seat belts in, obviously, and have like a little, a little lounger there for you. Then you have your couch here, um, is a, like a futon bed. Uh, then you can come over here to the table. Uh, the table's in pretty good condition and no rips or tears or any of that here, which also goes down into a bed if you have anybody come visit you that you might want in there. Um, you have more cabinets up here. Look at how pretty this glass work is on these cabinets. That's one thing, they did do some beautiful artwork in their stuff. Um, back in the day. Have good amount of windows in here to get good natural lighting. And then you have the cover that like, can go around so you can have your privacy and close off all your windows. Um, I like this window right over the kitchen because natural light in the kitchen for me is a super awesome thing. <clears throat> you have the double sink. You know, so when you're doing your dishes, you can wash one, rinse one. Um, three burn stove and an actual oven, which is really nice. Um, plus you have your uh, microwave. Lots of cabinets, plenty of outlets, um, you know, generator start in here. Uh, lots of cupboard space. Then you come over here, you know, you have your freezer and your refrigerator. Uh, you know, plenty of space there. You have your big cupboard over here. Hey, Ed, now you can see what I look like. I'm a little bit of a mess today. Um, so you have this really deep closet, tons of space. They added these crates in here for shelving. Um, you could take those out and just use it for a fully hanging space. You know, you can pretty much hang whatever you need to there. They added coat racks there. Um, a little light there, I guess. It was probably out of batteries. Um, then you come over here, take a look into the shower. This is a pretty tall shower for an RV shower, which is awesome. It has a really low step in and um, then a pretty high ceiling, which is awesome for somebody who's so tall. Um, that would definitely be a pointer. Plus it has like a little soap storage there, isn't that awesome? With the sliding door that comes across. Um, I will show you up here. It looks like there was some melted glue or something. Um, it doesn't look like water damage. It looks like, uh, like glue melted in the Arizona heat. That's a more common thing here. Um, come here. Look, in the bedroom you have plenty of walk around space on both sides. Um, lots of windows back here, good natural light, and you have your TV in here. Uh, even more closet space in here. These are really deep closets, like, whoa, I'm actually having to put my head in there to reach all the way to the back of that. Plus, you have your little counters here, deep storage there, and on the other side. Plus, drawers and a little ledge on each side, which is awesome. And you can come around on both sides, so it makes making the bed really easy, because you can be right here to do the sheets. Um... I'm gonna just kind of give you a full look in here. Make sure so you can see the carpet is still in pretty decent condition. Um, come over here. Um, there's a little step up for the toilet, which helps it be higher, which is nice for our toilet, especially for a taller guy. It's not so low. Good counter space in here. A nice mirror and even more cupboards and also some towel racks to hang your towels in there, which is awesome. And, you know, a privacy little area 
for you to be alone in there. Um, then this has vinyl wood, or not vinyl wood, just vinyl flooring in the kitchen. And then it even has a little extra rug that they had put in here. Um, I want to show you, I noticed while I was looking at the roof a little bit, that this has a little tear in here. Um, which once again is, I, I have had my tech in here before too. It's where glue came loose from the heat. It, you know, uh, got soft again and then came down a little bit. Um, the roof integrity is awesome. They've checked it. So that's a plus. Um, just so you know. And you have your run one roof air. This is a 30 foot unit. Um, you know, not as spacious as that Rex Hall, but still a lot of good space for just one person. Uh, I hope that you like it as much as I do. Um, this is a killer deal. Let me give you a little overview from over here. So you can kind of look at it one more time. And if you have any more questions, you know I'm here to help.